I have a letter here from one of my fans, one of my Fluffy Pancake fans. My Fluffy Pancake fan writes, Dear Dickie, I enjoyed your video very much. It was very informative and it helped me to gain celebrity status once again with my family regarding pancakes. My children no longer use my pancakes for uh, go-kart wheels or uh, clay pigeons at the shooting range. However, I was wondering, you mentioned just using warm water instead of boiling water. What is the difference? What would happen if I added boiling water to my pancake mix? Signed, sincerely, your fan, Jeff Smith. Well, let's find out. You want to try it? That'd be great. Come on. So let's, let's see what happens when we add boiling water to our pancake mix. One cup of boiling water, you can see the steam coming off, and one cup of dry pancake mix. Let's see what happens. Ouch, that's hot. Probably should have had a glove. Now I see what's happening. It's cooking my pancake mix. That is really hot. See it thicken up? Now this ought to be interesting to put into the pan. It's mixing up really good. So what's happening, you've pre-cooked this pancake mix and it's still moist. There's a lot of water. There's equal amounts. There's one cup of water and one cup of dry pancake mix. It is no longer dry. So this ought to be interesting. All right, so let's see what happens when we put this into a pan. Before we place our pancake mix in the pan, we need to lubricate the pan. Let's put a little olive oil on there. This will keep our pancake mix from sticking. Now, let's mix that. There you go. Now, let's see. Now, it's not going to pour. It's not going to pour, so I'm just going to put a glop of this right in the middle there. kind of plops into it. Okay, so that ought to be interesting. Let me grab a pancake flipper here. Now I'm just experimenting as we go along here. I have never done this before. So I'm we're going to find out together. It's going to cook fast because it's already pre-cooked. I'm going to use two-step spatulas. That's kind of cool. Almost like making, almost like making donuts. I'm experimenting as we go along here. Get a plate to put them on. cook these right before our very eyes. Get that one off. Maybe I get them on the edge. I don't like cooking donuts, huh?
Well, these are going to be interesting to eat. My plate there. Let's try another batch. This time, I am going to use a big spoon. I'm going to wet this spoon a little bit. Okay, I'm going to scoop out a big notch here. There you go, I think that works better. Ooh, some of it, it's kind of dry in there still, didn't absorb all that water. We'll just do that maybe, see what happens. Smells good. Now these aren't going to rise like regular pancakes because they've already risen. He has risen. He has risen. Hallelujah. He has risen. I guess you could call these resurrection pancakes, huh? <laughs> Well, if anything, they ought to be interesting. Too bad I don't have a deep fryer. That'd be kind of cool. Alright. Now these look pretty good. So I'm going to put a little honey on there. Going to sweeten them up a little bit. Got to lay out the off the butter. Dribble a little bit in there. That's cool. A honey bear. Yeah. Try this. They're kind of crunchy on the outside. Not too gooey on the inside. Hey! These are great. Wow. Well, my thanks to Jeff Smith. Give me this idea. Well, there's more to come. Thanks for joining Dickie Thomas's online theater. And uh, we'll see you next time.